Hello everyone. Uh, I still have a smile on my face, <laughs> as you can see from uh, from the show. Uh, it was a great, great show. I enjoyed it immensely. It exceeded my expectations. Um, you know, Duran Duran were my favorite band uh, in my formative years, and <clears throat> the songs that they recorded early in their in their career, the early, early stuff, the stuff where it was all five of them together, everything from planet Earth through a view to a kill. Um, I think all of that stuff is great. I mean, well, it's it's either it's either good or really good or great. Okay, so I still have that opinion about their early work. I thought <clears throat> they they fell off a little bit at, at some point. Um, but but they kept going, and it's pretty amazing. They're still together all these years later, uh, even though they're not all... It's not all of them, <clears throat> unfortunately. Uh, guitarist Andy Taylor is not with them. Uh, he wasn't with them anyway, but <clears throat> he's also ill uh, with stage 4 um, uh, prostate cancer, uh, which is something I've, I've been praying for. Um, and, uh, uh, but, but anyway, um, I, I went to the show, uh, expecting to have fun, but I was, it, it exceeded my expectations. And I wanted to say that just to put everything in perspective, uh, put, to put my, the video that I, the short that I put out there with me heckling Simon, <laughs> In, in a bit of perspective, that was um, that was good-natured heckling. I want I want y'all to know. Um, I really don't hold it against Simon that he was, uh, you know, uh, that he decided to to to, to uh, he's decided to make it a fixture of this tour, where, where he he dedicates the song "Ordinary World" to the people of Ukraine. And, and as a couple of you have pointed out to me, he does say the people of Ukraine, he doesn't, doesn't say anything about how they need to, about, about uh, you know, we need to arm them and how they need to win, how they need to beat Russia and, uh, or, or, or anything like that, just that they're suffering. And I mean, th fair enough. Um, my, uh, my impression, though, is that I don't think that Simon and many other, you know, pop stars and, and uh, movie stars who have weighed in on this, I don't, I, I doubt that they know that, you know, Ukrainians have been suffering since 2014, you know, that people who lived in the East who, who, uh, uh, who wanted to break away from Kiev were uh, being attacked, were being shelled, thousands died, you know, in starting in 2014, after NATO got the Maidan thing going, you know, interfered in everything for, you know, transparently self-interested uh, purposes, um, using Ukraine as a proxy state. I don't think Simon thinks in those terms or knows about that kind, that kind of stuff. So, you know, when I heard that it was a part of the show, you know, I'd read, I'd read some reviews and I'd read how he was doing this Ukraine speech. And so I, I knew I was going to have to, you know, I would, I would have to do something on video, uh, uh for that just be, um, like, for the lulls, but also because, you know, I wanted to just, you know, beat that message back a little bit, you know, in my own, you know, impotent way as, as some, some nobody <laughs> in the, in the cheap seats, uh, you know, uh, yelling, yelling things at, at a world renowned millionaire, uh, rock and roll star, uh, um, international sex symbol, um, <laughs> uh, 
just you know the the typical low status male kind of kind of a uh, kind of um, plan of attack, I guess, and and it was intentionally troll. You know, I was trolling by saying things like you know, yay Putin, go Russia, because that's not my my stance either. I'm not I'm not pro Russia per se. I I, I want I, I I know that Russia has a side in all of this and that they when they invaded Ukraine it wasn't just an unprovoked attack uh, that it was much more complicated than that than that that this is a territorial struggle that's gone on for a long time and um, and so the only really shorthand way to do that would be to to to, to troll to, to to be to to take on the persona of somebody who is um who's uh, uh, avidly <clears throat> pro-Russia and wants Russia to just go in and bust heads and stuff. Um, but of course, that's not that's not how I feel about it. I just, I, I know that the U Ukraine thing is like, it's, it's a trendy thing. It's like, put the Ukraine flag on your, uh, on your avatar, uh, or it was trendy. I mean, I don't know if it's, is, is it the new thing now? Is, has it been replaced with a new, new thing? I don't know. But <laughs> anyway, I, I felt that I had to, I just had to do, do that. I had to, to, uh, uh, you know, get some, get some footage of me heckle. I just thought it was funny. I thought the idea of me heckle, heckling Simon Le Bon was funny. And I think it is funny. For, um, <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's, if you don't like it, that's fine. But I, 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 I like, I'm. I'm satisfied with it. I like I like how it went, but I, I do want to. I, I did want to say that it, you know it was not something like. Uh, it was it was it was a momentary thing, where I was playing this character just to counteract this, <clears throat> you know what was implied in this message. And again, she, you're right. He didn't say anything about about uh, military action, but it sort of, it seems like it's sort of implied. It's sort of what, what gets layered on top of every, every pop star, every celebrity who says something like that. What gets layered on top of that is, you know, Ukraine are the, Ukraine is the good guy, are the good guys. Ukraine are the underdogs. We need to support them. We need to help them. Um, <clears throat> that, that seems to be, and that's like, it's this, this neoliberal interventionist message that I just I just do not believe in at all. Um, so, uh, but once that moment was over, you know, I went right back into into fan mode, and uh, and as I said, the, the the show was great. It was so much fun, um, <clears throat> and it, <clears throat> the the. Um, in fact, you know, I, I was sort of, uh, you know, I was looking forward to it. It, it, it. And by the way, if you want to know more about me and uh, my Duran Duran fandom, please uh, go to my uh, uh, Substack uh, page. I've, I've referred, I, ref, I referred to it in the community section on my YouTube channel, but, but uh, I wrote a part one uh and, and I'm going to continue that now, but it was all in anticipation of seeing them again 34 years after I saw them last. Uh, I was I was expecting it to be fun, and I thought I thought it would be a good show, but I thought it would be more of a like, uh, yeah, okay, it's nice they're still together, but you know they're they're old now and. You know, this is like a trip down memory lane. Remember when they were young and vital, uh, you know. But it really was, I, I didn't, you know, it didn't leave me with that feeling. Even though they are, you know, undoubtedly old, older now, just like we all are. Just like all the fans were. It was really something to be walking into that venue. And just, just uh, you know, part of you expects to see, you know... Uh, you know the uh, young girls with new wave hair hairdos, uh, 
and boys with uh, mohawks or whatever. If if there are any boys that are that would go to a, a to a Duran Duran show in the in the eighties, like I, I uh, as I speak speak of in my article, you know, it was not easy being a, a male Duran Duran fan in the eighties, in the early years. At some point along the way, it became <clears throat> it became okay to like them, but <laughs> you you expect to see, you know, this is a this, part of you is still in the mode like. Hey, this is Duran Duran. You know, it's it's 1984. This is her 1985. They're like a band that that young young girls like, and so the audience is going to be a certain way. And then you go in, and everybody else looks like you. You know, everybody else is, uh, you know, average to below average looking. Not everybody else, but a lot of it. it's like white people from the suburbs. Uh, uh, you know, average looking maybe a little bit overweight uh but they're you know the you know back in the day they were fans and they're and or, or a lot of them were and and they've got their gear you know they're wearing their t-shirts and stuff and it's just it was sort of incongruous it was weirdly incongruous it was like uh you know walking around i even t took a video you just just walking walking around uh in between acts before uh, Duran took the stage, and it was like this is what Dur this is what Duran Duran fans look look like today, and they, you know, and it was like um, I don't know, just just the tamest group of people, <laughs> like uh, you know, people in their forties and fifties, uh, you know, not like a a young vital, you know, uh, you know. Um, new wave uh, punk looking uh, 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 crowd of, of youngsters um, but you know that's what happens we, we all get older <clears throat> except those of us who die <laughs> the rest of us all get older um, but uh, so I so anyway I was expecting the show to just be like a, a bittersweet kind of thing like remember the old days yeah this is fun but remember the old days when it was really fun but it was really fun it didn't make me pine for the old days it was like wow you know these guys still put can still put on a show uh and they still have a ton of energy and they, they still are very talented they were always talented even though they they were you know the 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 critics turned up their noses at them and <clears throat> said they were they were just a bunch of uh, talentless pretty boys you know um that sort of thing nobody took them seriously in the in the 80s as musicians or took simon Le Bon seriously as a lyricist uh but i knew i saw them for who they were for uh, the val i mean I, I saw the value in their in their music and I still do, and uh, I feel very happy to have attended the show in in the ATL, uh, my my uh, former hometown. Um, so that's it. Just wanted to give that little epilogue uh, of my experiences and let everybody know <clears throat> the context of my uh, my heckling of Simon Le Bon. Uh, which is, which is, if you haven't seen it, it's a, it's a short uh, that I that I posted on this channel and on my backup channel. <coughs> uh, you know, it didn't go viral the way that some some videos, some short videos, really go viral. Some just are just dead in the water, and this is this one was kind of somewhere in between. You know, some people watched it, but it didn't it didn't really catch on. Uh, but anyhow, I wanted. I thought I would talk about it anyway. All right. Well, thanks for uh, for watching, and I'll talk to y'all soon.